Hey guys, I'm Annie with Explore Scientific and I'm just here to show you some of the exciting things that we have here um, with Explore Scientific. So first I'm going to start off with this great Bresser uh, do-it-yourself microscope for children. It comes in pink and blue. Um, it's a great it's a great opportunity for children to uh, put items put the microscope together and actually learn um, how um, a microscope actually works um, instead of just you know looking through it and going wow that's neat so it's um, it's a great um, do-it-yourself kit um, you can put the fun little eyes on it um, have you know you have blue and pink um, and it also looks like an animal we kind of joke around here at Explore Scientific saying what it looks like um, I, I actually think it looks like a Dr. Seuss character. So um, as some people think it looks like a rabbit. Some you know, so you can you can just use your imagination with that. Um, it Kent thinks it's an alien. Hmm, it could be an alien. So this would be the antenna, I guess maybe. So, maybe. but it, maybe, I don't know. So anyways, um, so you can look, you know, the eyepiece is up here. You've got a couple of different magnifications on it. Um, you've got some slides that come with it. Um, it's just a fun little opportunity for kids, uh, younger kids to learn um, about microscopes and what all they can do. So we've got that. But you have to put it together, right? Yes. You have to put it, you want me to put it together right now? No, I, oh. they, <laughs> yes. they come, yeah, I, so that, yeah, so that's what I was saying was it's great because you have to actually assemble it. Um, it does not come assembled, so um, you have to follow the instructions and put that together so they learn that a microscope uses uh, multiple lenses and uh, magnification and things like that to, um, to be able to see things up close and in detail. So it's, it's a great learning opportunity, um, especially for younger kids, um, you know, six and up. So, um, so yeah. So we have that fun little thing. And then, are you sure it's fun? Yes, I'm positive it is fun. Because I put one together myself. Did it work? Yes, it did work. Rob, <laughs> Rob actually had to come by and help me show show me how to use it, how to put it together. So, um, especially with somebody that's never put a microscope together or didn't know anything about a microscope. So, um, so I got video for this. <laughs> okay, so this is our land and water habitat. It's a it's a great learning tool for children as well, especially those those kids that are very curious about nature and outdoors and things like that. So, um, it literally unscrews. Will it unscrew? And yes. it comes with a magnifying. Hey Noah, can you zoom that Magnifying out a glass. Bit. And then it comes with. So everything can fit in here, as you can see. So that makes it great for like, um, uh, you know, compact. If you want to, if they're not using it. Um, but it comes with a net, so you'll be able to catch catch things, um, fish or um, you know frogs or whatever, butterfly insects, whatever flying things you can catch with that. Butterfly. Yeah, butterflies, um, tweezers to pick up to pick up items, and then of course the great thing is is you put you put um, your creatures in here. Um, you can either, like I said, it's, it's land or water, so you can put water in here and then put fish or, or frogs or whatever, turtles, um, whatever you want in here. Um, and then you'll screw the lid, which comes, it has holes so they can breathe. And it has a great- so there's a video of it right yeah, now. There's a great magnifying glass that you can see um, the items or what, of creatures there's a, We oh. caught a frog and put it in there. That would be fun. A frog would be fun to put in there. I bet you you could put like half land and half uh, water in there a yeah. little bit, and then have you know because you know some amphibians are um, water. You in. don't want to keep them in there all forever. Yeah. No, not forever. We want to we want to let them go. So you can observe them for a while and then put them in there. Um, that's a great little tool um, for kids. I know I have a little guy that likes to. He likes to look at. Uh, little critters and um in fact we had a, a a daddy long legs in our bathroom the other day and he thought that was really neat so but yeah i was so, gonna fill it up with um uh walking sticks Ooh, that would be fun yeah a little creepy yeah you could put a could put quite a different uh i was thinking about like 60 walking sticks oh my just, god 
I've seen, you know, well, you know, there might be one that might, I wonder how big walking sticks get. They get huge. Yeah. Actually. They're bigger than praying mantis most of the time. So yeah, you can, you can have uh, lots of wonderful things in there. Um, that, fun little things, but make sure that you let them go. Cause we don't want to keep them. We want to make sure that they go back to yeah. the, back to their homes. And so, um, but yeah, so you can uh, observe those for a little while and, um, enjoy our nature. So without having to hurt the animal yep. or bug yeah. or whatever. Whatever you Don't want. Don't put your little brother in there. Oh, no. You'd have to shrink him down, I think. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I have is a monocular. It's really lightweight and compact. It's a six by 18, um, and it has an 8.1 degree filled. Um, it just, it's real small. Um, you, uh, um, somebody could put it in their pocket and carry it. Um, it zooms in and out, obviously. It's one of those uh, things you can put in your truck and, or just yeah, keep in your pocket. Yeah, if you're wanting to see something, um, see, you're just needing, uh, you know, if you're needing to see something really well, like, um, actually this shows sporting events. I never even yeah. thought about that. You could actually take it to sporting events and be able to see, um, things on the football field or whatever. If you have it's those pretty clear, have those no nosebleed sections. Yep. It is very, very clear. Um, fully focus, focusable, um, just, you know, one eye. So six times magnification, uh, great for, um, just everyday use. Um, especially if you're, um, needing it for everyday use, hunting, whatever. Uh, well, don't don't use it while driving down the road. Definitely yeah, not. Don't, try not, not to look at look at your neighbors. <laughs> so yeah, not not to spy on your neighbors or anything, but um, has a little uh, wrist strap so you can um, carry it around with you. So yeah, and it water comes water resistant. I water think. resistant. I don't know if it's waterproof um, though. Yeah, let me see here. I don't think it says. Um, but yeah, so it's, um, great for sports and nature observation and, um, comes in silver and that looks like a little bit of a brown or something like that it's, color. We were having trouble with discerning the color on that. I think it's charcoal or something. It's like, like a grayish brown or something. Yeah. That's really, anyways. That's designed in Germany. Uh, and the Germans have a very interesting color palette usage <laughs> so but if you don't care what color you get you know you just pick whichever one so yeah <laughs> um let's see the next thing we have is this fun digital learning activity pad this is the my fun this, board. yes the fun board this is my absolute favorite toy um, that explore so or learning oh, toy. That, really? Yes. That so you really enjoy listening to me on that thing. Um, actually, I like it. The she the feature. The volume the, off. No, know. the feature <laughs> I, the feature I really like about the fun board is the fact that it does not have to be charged to use it. So yeah. if. So you let it battery run down. Of course. So what, I what, didn't have to talk to you anymore. <laughs> what parent doesn't let the batteries accidentally run down in any activity <laughs> toy that they have? Yeah. So for people who don't know, I. I was, uh, I did all the voice for that pad. Yes. When you, when you click it on, that's me. Yep. So does it does come on. on. So it comes in, comes in blue, orange, white, and green. And so it comes on. Let's see if I can get it to come on. Oh, we've got it locked. Hang on. Uh -huh. Well, I say that it was coming on earlier. You broke it. Just no, I didn't break it. We actually got, there it goes. Oh, you got to turn it around to get the microphone. Oh, here. So, um, hang on. So wait, wait, I want to show. It's like, so like this is alphabet. Like you can go through the screens, alphabet. Um, and then. M is for knucklehead. Then you're going to hit the power button. I think I just turned it off. Let me yeah. turn it back on. Choose a category with the arrow button. Then press the power button to select. Yep, there you press go. Press the power button to select. So you'll just hit the power button and it should go through. It sounds like it's trying to. It's, well, yeah, that's okay. Anyways, but yeah, so it's, you can do alphabet. It has pictures. Um, it has um, math on here. It has shapes, um, advanced drawing. You can draw animals, games on there. So you can just choose whichever one you want. Um, and then you'll start going through that um, and just playing those games with your kids or whatever. Um, my boy likes and I to annoy you all the way to Florida. <laughs> my boy likes <laughs> to just draw on it. This is what's really cool about this. Um, 
is my boy likes to just draw on it and then he draws whatever and then you can just uh, erase that. Now, yeah. the fun thing about this is that it has a lock button on the top of it. So I can't tell you how many times we've accidentally had that lock button on and I thought it was broken and it wasn't. So um, it locks the screen. So if you're drawing, say you're playing a game and you, they have a game on here called uh, Draw, uh, Guess What Your Friend's Drawing or something like that. And so um, we, so if you draw something, you can pass it to the other person and you lock the screen so it can't be erased on accident whenever you're playing that game. So that's a, that's a cool little thing. Um, the cool little feature on there too so um and they but, got the pen that comes with yeah it. the pen that comes with it um like i said if it if it dies like right now it's off and i was able to draw on it and then erase it so if it dies it's still usable which is like i said is my my favorite feature because i can't tell you how many times i didn't charge it and then i my kid <laughs> wanted to play with it so um but it's just a great little um learning tool and um um, so yeah, so you can right. take that in the car with you um, anywhere you want to go and um, use it. Use it. So yeah, that's a. It's fun. So and then I'll put this little pin back in here, so you don't lose it. All right. So the next thing I have is a uh, microscope. It's a twenty times microscope. Um, this is a great little microscope because. You know, most microscopes have two I have one eyepiece. So, um, when children are learning how to look through one one eyepiece, it becomes very difficult. We even here at Explore Scientific, we use um, techniques like uh, patching eyes or something like that to teach them um, how to look through one eye. Because most children at a young age have a hard time keeping one eye closed and keeping the other one open. So, but this is a little bit easier in the fact that they keep both of them open and look through it. Um, so that's a great feature um, in this microscope. Um, this is for eight years and up. Um, <clears throat> it, um, ha it's a 20 times magnification. Um, this is called a binocular lens. Um, it's battery powered, a lightweight um, um, and suitable for outdoor use. Um, it, this is adjustable for your eyes. So whoever's using it, you can move that in and out for your eye spacing. Um, and then um, let's see here. It includes 12 mineral samples. So you can, it comes with a couple of different slides so you can be able to, um, to see uh, things well, right the, away. The most important thing about that too is now you can get both eyes involved and it has a fairly wide distribution between the yeah. eyes and yeah. things like that uh but the yeah. one thing about it is the uh, lenses are easily interchangeable yeah so the lenses come out and you can change out those magnifications um as you as you want to increase it and so i was trying to see a 10 and i think it comes with a 20 um so know. it goes up to a 20 times magnification um so it's got to have a 10 and then a 20, I think. I don't, this is empty, so I'm not quite for sure, but, um, and I don't have my little prop sheet on me, so, or information sheet on me, but it's a great little focus. Now, is it a top down light or a light from underneath? Um, it is a light coming down. See, it's already on, so it's got battery. So the light, the light comes down from here. So right. you're looking, you're looking down at it, at the, so at the slide. You can look at some slides. Some slides aren't going to be useful in that. Yeah, because you don't want the ones that are, uh, that you can see from the bottom so you want to be able to um you know the ones that are kind of coded so you can see see a little bit better but you can throw a rock on there yeah or... lots of things so um so yeah we could do uh coins mineral stamps you know just some small electronic parts and things like that and um so you don't have to use just slides but you can look at other things too to see the to see those intricate details on those items so um this is a great little tool for um, teaching children about microscopes and magnification and things like that. So um, easy to use, really lightweight, um, very, uh, you can transport it anywhere, it looks like. So it's real lightweight and um, easy to go. These are so. very similar to the ones they have in the schools. Mm, oh, yes, it does look very similar to the ones they have in the schools. I really like the two, that it has two eye pieces because I know I personally hate squinting 
or keep trying to keep one eye shut, I guess you would, not squinting. But I, um, so it, it's just, uh, that bino viewer is just really, really great um, in being able to see. So it's just more relaxing. So um, great, great, great microscope. So, uh, so you've got some National Geographic stuff back there. Yes, I do have some National Geographic stuff back here to show off. So we have our uh, LED Trek light. Um, this that is bright. This thing is very bright. I know this for a fact because Kent has sh uh, shined it in my eyes multiple times yeah, that wasn't, during a show. Uh, work, approved through workman's <laughs> No, that was not approved. But <laughs> around here at Explore Scientific, they like to pick on me. But that's okay because I pick, pick back. So you. it's good. Um, we well, have. You know, um, when people like you, that's when they pick on you. No, they know they know I, they'll know I pick back that's why they do it so um, but this is great it's um, it's got a charger where did I put the charger it can charge into any type of USB port um, so a um, computer a block uh, whatever um, even ooh, if you got um, one of our explore scientific clocks you could even plug it into that oh, yeah. the, the power bank one um, all right, so it just a magnetic, magnetically attaches, and away you go, and it charges. Um, it there's a red light, has a red light, and then I think I turned it off. Yeah. There's a red light again. Why is it not? Oh, there we there it go. Is. It is really, really bright. Yeah. Um, if Kent was, we've got some. We've got professional lights up here too, and that thing. Yeah. Is just, so this is geez. 500 lumens, is what it is. I think it's more than that. It it's really bright. It's it's listed at 500, but I, there's I think a, it's and more. then there's the next setting. It's just down just a little bit. I think there's an SOS on here, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, there's a wider. You have a wider yeah. and um, it's got beam. two settings as well. So you can see. Whoops. Uh -huh. So you can see. Let's try it again. Hit it quicker. It must. Yeah. Yeah, it must be because I'm not hitting it fast enough. There's there a red go. one. Oh, there's the SOS. So if you ever get lost while hiking, then or just wherever, maybe in your house. I don't know. You know, you might need that for something. I don't know. Don't play it with hide and seek with your kids because then they'll find you really fast. <laughs> I think that's all the settings. We actually here we actually use this in the warehouse. The guys, the people in shipping and customer service. Oh, we use service. it here to work on the printers too. Yeah, we use it. We use it to go find product in the warehouse, and I guess they use it to work on the printers. I didn't know that. That's a new one to me. Um, so yeah, you can use this for anything. Um, Kent keeps it in his truck just because. Um, well, I, we're able to put it on the. The, the bar and it stays yes it's magnetic so it's magnetic it ha actually comes off this clamp and so this piece right here is obviously magnetic so you can actually stick it onto something metal and it will stay there um, the other cool thing is I think there's a buckle right it, am I right Paul there's like a belt there's like some kind of clamp uh, clip that comes with it no it, it's got the head the headlamp with the clip and you can put a different piece of cloth through it. Oh, okay. So you can, you can take that um, strap and um, put something else through it so you can have that. But, um, but this is really comfortable, really stretchy. So, um, so if you have to wear it for long periods of time, hiking or whatever, then it's, you know, it's, it's comfortable and not squeezing your head to death. So um, wonderful. You can actually move this up and down. So if you need to point it more up to the sky or down to the ground, yeah, then you can. Yeah, it clicks so it doesn't just get loose on you. Yeah, it's, it's on there. So like when I, I have to really pull it so you don't lose it. It feels like I'm gonna break it, but I'm not, so. But yeah, it just clamps right on. And there you go, you have it, and away you go, which is a lot better than trying to find your phone and getting your phone light out. So, well, the phone lights are never bright enough. Oh, they're never bright enough. They are absolutely never bright Unless enough. Unless you're asleep, then maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so then we also have our trekking pole. These are for hiking or whatever you want to do. They're very comfortable. They've got this cork um, on kind of um, on the handle, so that makes it really comfortable. Um, they are adjustable. They get pretty tall, um, so they're adjustable to who, what your height is. Uh, let's see here. It comes with this nice bag. So 
you're just gonna unclamp that. Whoops, and I just took it all the way out. Look at that. So you can take it all the way out if you want to, but I don't know yeah. why you'd want to do that. Well, you yeah, I think you need to clean it or something. Well, yeah, I mean, because if you're going hiking, you might want to. Be covered in mud. Yeah. This one's a little stiff, which is a good thing because you don't want it to fall out easily. Right. So yeah, so there's that. So it, it gets pretty tall. Um, I'm almost five two, so it gets it. I mean, it gets pretty up there. Almost. Almost. I think I'm right above it. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna take that one or two little. Um, Centimeters. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add it, so add it on. Um, but the tips are interchangeable, so it comes with, let's see if I got them in here. There's one of them just fell on the floor. Blum, blum, blum. Yeah. It comes with some, I believe these are snowshoes. Snow baskets, I guess is what you would call yeah. them. Um, these are little foot, little feet. Well, snow things, you don't know how useful they are until you actually experience it. Until you actually experience it. If you like to go um, somewhere where it's snowing a lot and hike, then I would highly recommend that. Um, and of course, then the regular rubber tip feet. And then of course, some mud baskets because you know here in Arkansas, it gets really muddy and rainy. So at times so at times. Um, at times during the fall and the winter it, it's not really rainy rainy it just feels damp all the time so um, if you're out hiking or something then you'll want to be able to want to be able to um, you know keep your keep yourself from slipping um, of course it has a point so those just snap right on onto the end of those um, and then you'll um, and then you'll way you'll go hiking wherever you're going so um, I think Kent Kent uses these quite frequently um, and likes them a lot. I have not used one yet. Um, I know that there's been times that I went hiking and I wish I wish I would have had something like this. So, um, but very- You didn't fall down, did you? I did fall down actually. Uh-oh. While holding a child. It was not good, but that's okay. Well, the child can break your fall. <laughs> no, 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 I never <laughs> recommend that. In fact, I, I grabbed her head and made sure she didn't hit the ground and I ended up hurting myself because of it. So. But that's okay. So um, I just, you know, we walking. Hey, feet. just some advice for next time. <laughs> so, yeah. So we. Um, so so. Uh, do not fall on children. Yeah. Do not fall on children. Yes. <laughs> don't listen to Paul. Do not fall on children. One hundred percent. But yeah. So these are great little tools to keep you sturdy as you're walking and hiking, and so getting out there enjoying nature. So um, great, great, great tool um for that so okay so the last well, thing i think that's about it we got one more thing yes one more thing all right, all right. these are our um these are oh, our yeah. explore one binoculars they are i have to look and see because i'm not for sure they're six by 21s Mm -hmm. um, they are have a, uh, obviously have a six time magnification with a 21 millimeter aperture. They have a very large focus wheel for tiny hands. Um, they have the rubber eye cups. Um, they come with the storage pouch and a wrist strap. These are really, really good for, for young, young kiddos. Well, and they're good. They're really a good set of binoculars too. Though. Yeah, they're a good set of binoculars, but I like that um, everything is a little, it's small and compact, but um, some of it's a little oversized so the kid can actually find what they're looking for in order to focus it. Um, and it's got the diopter focus yeah, too. Yeah, so it's got the little dot, so you can actually focus each eyepiece um, so you've got this right one and then you've got the middle one for the yeah. left one. So yeah. you can get both of those into focus properly and you can teach um, teach how to use um, and binoculars if you, correctly. You know, if you're like on a tractor or something like that all day and you want to carry some binoculars, mm -hmm. but you don't want to put a thousand dollar set of binoculars out there, mm -hmm. you can just leave those in the in the truck or tractor yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, these are these these are good and little tiny compact little things. Take them so. fishing with you. If yeah. You, if they disappear. It's like uh. Yeah, and so then they come they come um, in this little compact. I think they only come in green and blue. 
Do they come in any other colors? I only know of the green. Yeah, yeah, I think they only come in the green and blue, but they're rubber, so, they, so they're easy to grip and hold on to, so that makes them, um, this is a plastic, but it's, um, but they're easy to hold on to for little hands, um, which, you know, mine are small, so. But yeah, anyway, so this is really good. These are really nice. These are really nice binoculars, small, compact to keep, um, to keep around. Um, and then to teach a little one about, um, about binoculars and viewing, you could use them for the night sky, looking at animals, creatures, whatever you want to see during the daytime in nature or whatever. So, um, but yeah, so that's a fun little thing to have. So we'll I think that's, time, I think that's all I have. Um, See us next time. Uh, see us next time. Not us, you. Oh. You. They don't want to see, see me. One of There's us a reason next I see don't one of us have at, a camera. No, I'm going to say see one of us at Explore Scientific scientific next time so um i never know who's gonna we never know who's gonna be on a show so um so just keep watching and um you you'll see me kent or tyler so um thanks for watching hopefully not tyler mm, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> and you're out good yeah <laughs>